Oh, hey, what's up, guys? This is Gian of Gadget Pilipinas. All right, uh, this is our review of the Realme C25. Some of you have been uh, waiting for this, so let's get started. Roll the intro. Well, hello there. All right, before we get started, let me share with you something about our sponsor, XSplit. XSplit provides the best live streaming and recording tools for beginners and professionals alike. Simple yet powerful content creation tools that provide professional broadcast experiences. Level up your broadcast with the most stable and easy to use suite of content creator tools around. If you want to subscribe, you can get 10% discount by using our special discount code or by simply clicking the link below. Okay, so let's get back to the topic. In this review, we'll talk about the top features that consumers have been looking for on a smartphone at this price range. But please note that this review is based on my opinion and Realme did not pay us anything or to say anything about this product. They only sent us this unit for us to review. And to make things really awesome for you lovely people, I'm going to give this away to one of our YouTube subscribers. So watch this video until the end to know how to join my giveaway. The Realme C25 basically looks like the uh, C15 and the C20 from the front and the back panel is uh, less of a smudge magnet, which can relatively be a good thing. It's relative. The device also feels a bit heavier than usual, and that's basically because of its huge 6,000 milliampere battery, similar to the one on the Realme C15. But I'll talk more about its battery later. Now, the Realme C25 features a physical fingerprint sensor at the back, Type-C port, and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Both the power button and the volume rockers are on the right side if the screen is facing you, while the three card slot is on the left. Now, one of the things that you'll notice about the Realme C25 is its big 6.5 inch display. They have retained the same display technology from the Realme C15 and its quality fits the price they're offering. It isn't as sharp compared to mid-range devices because of the nature of its display size and resolution. It only has 720p display with 270 pixels per inch density. However, this is barely noticeable and might also be helpful in managing battery life. Now, let's talk more about performance. Now, this one is powered by a Helio MediaTek G70. Honestly, I have no complaints here because Realme is presenting the C25 as an entry-level smartphone that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some expensive ones when it comes to performance. Now, for typical day-to-day -day tasks such as uh, web browsing, binge watching on YouTube or Netflix, social media apps like uh, Facebook and Messenger, and listening to music on Spotify, the device held its ground well without any major issues so far. Now, in terms of thermos, uh, all throughout my test, the Realme C25 only just got a bit warm but nothing really alarming, to be honest. And you just have to be mindful of its weight because it's quite heavy based on my standards. Pag nalaglag to sa mukha mo, either tama o magkasugat ka or probably magkaroon ka ng pasa or worse, mabungi ang ng ipe, no? But, you know, I've got big hands, so this should serve as a warning for all of you guys. Now, one of the most significant updates to the Realme C25 is its triple camera system. Now, this is a major change from its predecessors like the Realme C15, which has a uh, quad camera setup. In the case of the Realme C25, while the number of lenses decreased, it seems that the quality of photos and flexibility of use did not sacrifice too much. Now, when there's ample lighting, the device is able to capture photos with good levels of details and sharpness. Uh, contrast and saturation levels are satisfactory. Focusing speed is uh, somehow fast, and the depth of field effect looks refined. Shots seem to have improved versus the previous generations, and if you're looking at taking selfies, the selfies look pretty neat and well exposed with good edge detection and a refined portrait mode. However, the lack of ultra-wide lens is my only major complaint about its cameras. But you know what guys, for what it's worth, the quality of photos is impressive enough for an entry-level smartphone. I think some of you would agree to this. Uh, with the number of choices of budget smartphones right now, this one is among the ones that can definitely be a testament to uh, hindi ko mumura e pangit or wag mong piliin.
Now, in terms of software, this is running on the latest patch of the Realme UI 2.0. Apart from the popular dark mode, you also get the usual goodies such as uh, Game Space, which serves as a central hub for all games installed on the device. It also allows for setting your preferred performance profile, which is uh, it's good for a budget smartphone. Realme UI also lets you take screen recordings and lets you adjust the quality of the resolution. The uh, assistive sidebar, which lets you immediately perform certain actions, is you know, unfortunately missing, but hopefully they will patch that back with uh, a firmware update maybe or a software update, but I probably am just missing and I can't find it here. Now, the Realme C25 also gives you the option to enable both face unlock and the fingerprint scanner if you want. Both for me work well and are very fast to respond. A key asset of the Realme C25 is a 6,000 mAh battery. In PC Mark's Work 2.0 benchmark, which simulates data manipulation and uh, basic video editing, the device managed to uh, churn out a score of 5 minutes shy of 12 hours, which is nothing short of impressive. Check it out. Now, if there's any caveat to this, it would be the long charging time. This would take about 3 to 3.5 hours to fully charge it from 0 to 100%. So you have to bear that in mind. All right, so for 7,490 pesos as its uh, SRP, there's simply nothing more to ask for from Realme C25. You get quite a number of upgrades from the Realme C15, such as better chipset, and uh, also a more flexible set of cameras, which capture some good looking photos, and a large battery life that delivers an insane amount of uptime, albeit charging it too long. The lack of ultra-wide or wide-angle lens is quite a bummer which may disappoint some content creators. This will be on sale uh, starting April 16 with a discounted price of 5,990 pesos for a limited time. Now during the sale period, you can also buy the uh, Buds Air 2 series. Now details of everything that I mentioned are in the description below or at gadgetfilipinas.net. The device is also a great daily driver, if I may say, and can game well. Don't forget about this. The software performs well and is also quite feature packed. Now, Realme has uh, outdone themselves with this one. The Realme C25 is a worthy upgrade uh, to its predecessor and should be on your list if you're looking for a value packed smartphone. All right, so that has been our review of the Realme C25. If you like this video, consider giving it a like. And if you like this phone, links are in the description below how you can win this. Again, we're giving this away to one lucky subscriber of Gadget Filipinas. So again, guys, please don't forget to click that. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so as well. You can just click the subscribe button and the notification bell for you to be aware of our next videos. We usually post about one or two videos per week. And uh, also, I would appreciate if you could also visit our website at gadgetfilipinas.net. Again, this has been GN. I'll catch you in the next one.